Okay, welcome back to Firing Simulator 22. We have not got an episode out for a while, but I did get a lot of progress done because I was getting super horrible like frame rates and my was not able to get anything to to record to where I could release it. It would the, the uh, audio and the video would be all out of sync and it was all glitchy. It, I'd be talking, it would be staying up to speed on the talking, but the video would be like super far behind. Okay, first thing I kind of want to do is, let's see, we're, um, it was P, I wanted to find that thing about with the bees, because I know there's a, what number was it? That's my things I've got now. I've got a medium tractor and I've got a harvester. I'm trying to remember what it was that I, um, how I got the bees. <laughs> Not remembering. Okay, well, let's jump in. We've, uh, we'll jump out of the cab for real quick. Oh, not that way. How do we get out of the cab? Oh, there we go. We, uh, got quite a bit harvested on the field. Every time I would f film, it would, uh, be so glitchy I couldn't use the footage. So what I did is I updated the, my 1060s graphics drivers and that seemed to have helped. I I was very neglected to um to update them because it it's been just uh every time I would update them they would have a ton of problems. I would have a ton of problems with like my editing software and stuff. So I I've been my drivers were like 6 months out of date, but they were working. That was the thing. Okay, well, let's, we're going to do some little bit of harvesting here. We're hitting our wheat field. We've got our John Deere harvester. We've done, probably dropped off about four, four or five loads. I think it's been about four loads so far to our silo. Uh, I'm not using a tr semi right now. I'm going to I'm gonna get one. I'm going to need it to take and run the, the wheat to different facilities where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see which one I'm going to pay the best for my weed. And that's what we're going to do. But we're not going to buy that until we've got all this harvested. And we'll check what the prices are, you know, like, because different times of year the prices are going to be better for different product. Um, so what I'm going to do is I would, I'm going to see what the prices are and see what money I can get for it. I'm going to have to also... I'm gonna have to get uh, cultivators and things like that to get this field prep for the winter. Uh, plus, now we got the stones that can be in the field, so we're gonna need some kind of agitator to get the stones up and get them out of the fields before we do any big plowing or anything like that or trying to seed. I think the that could break your seeder if you hit, you know, hit rocks. I mixed missed a lot of little groups of the wheat because I wasn't really paying too close attention I was so busy trying to figure out what was going on why I couldn't do face face cam and record at the same time and get a decent FPS I, I was getting like 18 FPS inside the cab, and I was getting 25 outside the cab. I should be getting 60, if not more. Fifty-two percent. Let me know what you like better. Do you like the inside cab, where you can kind of? more like we're actually in the harvester or do you like outside the harvester it's a lot louder machine
Plus, I would like to get this running to the standpoint where I can start using my G920 steering wheel. I should be able to use it. I tried to use it in FS19, but it was kind of everything. It was kind of didn't really handle very well. But I was trying to use a truck, just like a pickup truck. I didn't try it with the harvester or anything like that. Which it might make it easier to negotiate around fields and stuff like that. Starting to get late. This will be my first night. We've got everything else right. For some reason it's still on the military time. I, I'm not sure if you can change that or not. soldiers. <laughs> Hit those extra little strips that I missed. It's kind of frustrating. It's like I had some really cool episodes done. I'd, I'd bought my tractor and I got the sprayer and, and then when I went and bought the harvester and the harvester head and I had to drive back from the, the shop with them and everything. It was, it was so cool and then all of a sudden I went to watch it as I was getting ready to upload it to my editing software and it was horrible. <laughs> it's like so bad. I have it set to a four day month. So for every in game, every four in game days, it's a, a month. We're in August. I'm not sure if it's set it yet because it said that it will set it the next season. So it might still go one, like August, and then it'll be September right away. How fast that truck going? <laughs> and they don't stop either. They just they just keep coming. Whoop! I didn't mean to get out. We gotta. It'll be nice to have a semi truck that I can just load. It'll it's a lot easier to offload. They gotta kind of really be cautious which direction I, I set. I'm not sure what my capacity is for this. 
looks like it would be pretty good. That, that would hold a lot of grain. Yeah, this, uh, my fencing there might cause an issue when I get into having a bigger harvester head. I do have a DLC for a Mack truck. I'm not sure if I want it or not. I, I'm going to see which ones they have. I'm not sure if there's any other name brands. I would like a Kenworth. It's the one I drive in American Truck Simulator. You can also hit 3, so you don't have to have your hand on the button all the time. It's like a cruise control. set my track tire up for it too I think you can use that it won't be quite so jerky with trying to use the mouse for looking around that'll probably be the next episode I'll try that I don't know if I'll record with the G920 right away. I might do a couple tests just to see how it handles. And if it works good, then I'll definitely use that. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Happy Thanksgiving. You're watching this on Thanksgiving. It's getting pretty close. Couldn't get a turkey. I tried to get one yesterday, but I I had one for my birthday a couple days ago, so that was fine. But we got a nice ham, so we'll have a ham for Thanksgiving instead. We have ha turkeys once in a while throughout the year, just to, as like a change the meal kind of thing, so it doesn't have to be a Thanksgiving thing. And they're usually easier to get. <laughs> Thanksgiving, everybody's buying a turkey, so. We are going ham. Today also I'm gonna run over. I got a my mom got me uh, a new another graphics card or another uh, memory card and set a set of batteries for my trail cam so I can go change those out and just bring the chip back with me so I can get the footage off of that and get you another video of trail cam videos. Hopefully we'll get some cool animals on there. Maybe a nice big buck or something. Or maybe a little more of the coyote, I don't know. He's kind of just ran through in the last video. Oh, here, we'll go get those. That last couple pieces right there. Okay. Sounds have definitely improved.
move to. I didn't play FS19 very much. I'm not sure why. It, there was something about the vehicles just didn't handle like they they did in FS17. I played FS17 a lot. But that was before I was recording for, for my channel. I play that for hours <laughs> every day. This one's looking like it's going to be like a, a 17 again. It's, and the fact that they've got seasons already built in, that's just incredible. I, I'm looking forward to the, the snow and the plowing and things like that. The different seasons, seeing the ch leaves change and things like that on here. They did a good job on it. thinking about doing an experiment too with my make a video and take one of my Formica ant colonies and they haven't had eggs for a couple months now I'm going to film them when I first I'm going to bring them up, put them on the heat give them some fruit flies and see how long it takes before the queen starts laying eggs last year I, they, I didn't hibernate any of my ants last season and they all did really well they're, they're still doing pretty good so they're all doing good. Uh, what I might do is pick one of the colonies that's got less, you know, a lot smaller population, so that you know, kind of a population boost for them to go into next season. Get close. I'm thinking I might. I'm not sure if you can bail this into straw. Oh, one last strip. Let's back up and get this last uh, this little bit right here. So we might want to buy a baler for my my tractor. Hi, Gidgets. Gidgets over here. What you doing, kitty? Stepping on my arm. Probably could have got this all left in one last little sweep, but this way we're not we're making sure we're not missing anything with that last little bit on the way back. I think we're probably going to have to dump one more time before we can finish. We're not going to have enough in this in this harvester to get the, all of what's left. Which is fine. The more trips I have to take to the silos, the better, because that means that I've got more grain to take to the market. Get a little bit of that money back that I've spent. Started with 1.5 million, and we're at 600,000 right now, so... can't remember if I leased this harvester or if I bought this harvester. I'm pretty sure I leased it. Because if I had bought it, there definitely wouldn't have 600,000 left. Which I could return it when it's not harvester season. You know, when I don't have anything to harvest, to return it, get my money back. I'll keep the head. I think I bought the harvester head. Which is fine. I can always store that it wasn't that expensive. Oh, there, yep, there we go. We got a... Yeah, 
this will definitely be nice to try the track IR if he's like an American Truck Simulator, we, you want to be able to just turn your head. Yeah, we're getting pretty good at that. <laughs> I should put some more lights around the yard, especially over by the garage. Actually, let's... Oh, I don't want to turn that on right now. Let's turn the engine off real quick. Um, let's see. P. Okay. But construction, I want to get some lights. Lights from decor. Lights. What we got here? Let's put it over by our garage here. I just, I don't want to block. I don't want to make it to where I can't get into my garage. That's not a good one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's going to suck for whoever's sleeping in the bedroom over on this side of the house, though. How about this? No. Sheesh. That's too small. Yeah, so that's too small. That's kind of nice. It's Yeah, we'll do that. That really lights it up nicely. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah I'd, my bedroom would be on the other side of the house. Perfect. Okay. Oh. Speaking of that, um, let's let's get back to that again. And this, um, animals, bees. I wanted to get this to set where the bees drop their honey at. We'll set it. Oh, actually, let's put it right down here so it's by the shed like it's the the honey house or something perfect okay that's what I want to do let's uh let's go get the last of that wheat out of that field want to get the last of it just in case I haven't looked at the weather report for the next day. I don't want it to rain and then we're not able to finish getting the last of this crop off the field. Next episode, we will go get ourselves a, a baler. 
so we can grab this wheat shaft off the field, put it in to turn it into straw. If we can, I, I, I'm not sure if it will be able to be used as straw or not, but we will try it, and that'll be in the next episode. And depending how long it takes to do that, uh, we may grab ourselves a, a plow, kind of plow the field, keep working on the field, get this uh, prepped for the next season then maybe throw some winter crop in it or something just to kind of make sure we're you know not having uh, dead space times you know we want to be able to have crop on the field all the time if it's possible and last uh, I should have hit that love piece too but I did not. Oh well. And we're gonna set up. Not sure how much. You know, I have to buy some more land close. I would like to set up this area to do some tree lumber jacking and stuff. So try to get some property close by and plant a bunch of trees for the future to harvest trees take and deliver stuff to the carpentry building. We can set up our own store, um, businesses too that we can supply. But we're going to have to do quite a bit of uh, other uh, work first before we get to that, that point. I want to stock up some, some money. And then after, I think we'll do Lumberjack next and we'll try animals, you know, like get some cows some milk and things like that. Where were you at, Gidget? Your feet are cold. Must have been in the basement. So this, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to return this harvester, because we don't really have the facilities for this big of a machine, I don't think. Not sure if it'll fit in. Let's let's give it a try. Let's head over here. And... We can widen our our road back here too. We're just gonna set it out here, I think. Turn off the lights. Uh, harvesters. H the AI harvester engine pipe full disable. Oh, let's fold it up. We've got to start it up. Thought lights was L. I guess not. Turned them on somehow. I just don't remember how. Let's oh, pee. It's like I hate just randomly pushing buttons because I don't know what it's gonna do. 
Unless they come on automatically, but I doubt that. Yeah, we'll look up that later. We're gonna run inside, and we'll we'll see when we wake up if it, you know, if the lights are still on. Okay, flashlight is F, which that would be for your headlights too, but it didn't do anything to it. So, okay, let's sleep. Uh, what time do you want to wake up? Yeah, eight o'clock's good. We'll see if it's a. Uh... Yep. See, it's September now. But now it should be set to where it's. The next season will be. I should get myself something to clean. Too. We set that up in the back. Harvester head area. I'll add more cement to this area too. Could put that out front, I guess. It kind of sitting right here. Or would that look weird? Yeah, we'll decide that next episode. We'll go trade this in next episode too. Okay, well, hopefully this hopefully this turns out so you actually get to see it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. There's a little icon in the corner. Once in a while, my little guy will be popping up in the corner there pointing at it so you'll know exactly where it's at. All you have to do is click it. It's free to subscribe. I'd appreciate it if you did. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments. thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.